Hi guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, usually my readings are not date or time specific. This series is dedicated to um, solstice messages because we've reached the midpoint of the calendar year. So I want to take a look at what do we need to release from the last six months and what may be unfolding for the next six months so that's the spread i'm going to use is the same one i think i use for the new year messages and so this is like a check-in okay um you can be here as a cross watcher for an aquarian keep in mind that sometimes the messages will speak more directly to you than they do about your person but always in connection with them um, and it is a general reading not a private so just take what speaks to you leave the rest speaking of private readings they are available there's a link in the description box below you have to scroll it a little bit um, and it will take you to my booking page where you can read all about it um, just a note i'm going to tell you now i haven't mentioned it yet um, but because you come toward the end of the readings of the series, uh, I may be stopping private readings for the summer. So if you've been on the fence about it, or if you if you look at it and say, well, I don't know, um, I may be stopping it for a few months. So check it out. All right, here we go. I'm pulling from Gateway of Light Activation to activate the reading. Uh, we do have the full moon in Capricorn coming up on the 3rd, so I'll be uploading a special reading for that probably sometime Sunday. And we have Neptune just stationing retrograde today in Pisces, late degrees of Pisces. So if you have any planets or points, but this is just for those of you who are astrologically interested, um, any planets or points between 24 and 29 degrees of the mutable signs. The mutable signs are Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, and Pisces. And so, since Neptune is turning around and will travel between like 27 and 25 or 27 to 26 degrees, I'm giving you a little range um, to work with. So 24 to 29 degrees of the mutable signs. If you have planets or points, so points include your rising sign, your MC, your IC, right? Points. The nodes of the moon are considered points. Um, and then of course planets. In that little range of degrees of the mutable signs, Neptune's going to be working you. <laughs> okay, so beep your eyes open here we go the central sun oh aquarius this is beautiful abundance downloads regeneration and success you are getting the central sun i love the beetle there the central sun is your guide your um gateway of light activation wow Hey, take it. Abundance downloads coming your way. Um, I will have to draft off your abundance energy. <laughs> I've been without water here uh, all yesterday. It'll be all today and potentially Monday, which is really terrible on a holiday weekend. But um, at least I have water for the weekend. They're changing out the um, water meters, and they have to hit the water main for the whole community. So thank goodness this morning I went and got my hair did because I would not have been here today if that was not on my calendar. Yeah, it's no fun. Ah, perfect. So what I'm pulling here in this spread, I'm going to give you my general impressions, then we'll walk through the details with the clarifiers, but um, for all intents and purposes, this is what needs to be released from the last six months. Okay, so for some of you, it's egoic resistance and fear, and you know what that's all about. For some of you, it's energies of control. For others of you, it's negative karma or a karmic pattern or a karmic person. Got it? Manipulation, control. So whatever this says and speaks to you about, phew, done. Because the energy signature of this next six months has to do with the six, uh, five of swords, my bad, five of swords. Because the five of swords is about feeling energy, an energy of defeat. 
being played, being manipulated, being sabotaged, being set up. So the energy signature, I'm, I'm telling you, please, the energy signature is not that you're going to be defeated. I'm looking at the signs here for the rest of the reading. So I'm telling you, it's about coming out of that pattern or cycle of feeling defeated and played. Okay? Gaslighted, whatever, fill in the blank. It's not good. And the reason why I say that is because what you have to look forward to is overcoming those challenges and obstacles, getting your confidence back. The only card in the deck that overcomes the devil is the strength card, right? So that's why I say this is coming through reverse. The energy signature is Stella gets her freaking groove back. And so what you want to do is take stock of that and be open to releasing whatever hold or grip this has had on you because it's kept you down for too long Aquarius or whoever you are watching and it's time to release it you're going to get your game face on and something you'll need to explore is the patience that that will require your trust that in time all the energies will come into flow and balance and bring you some healing temperance is about um, transmutation of energy from dark to light from disappointment right and negative karma to wait for it abundance i know this isn't the sun this is jupiter but my god jupiter is the planet of cash and prizes if any planet is about abundance it's jupiter all right so it's going to take some time and it's going to take your investment of that that higher octave of sagittarian energy that we see here in the temperance card to know that you have the ability to transmute this energy and it will take time and so it's about self-control and restraint as this all kind of works itself out and an important lesson you will learn in the next six months is when the signs appear, heed them. You're getting information downloads. You're get. did it say that? No, it said abundance downloads. Same kind of thing. I'm feeling like the Ace of Swords is spirit. All the Aces have that hand of spirit giving you a gift. So this is a gift of insight, knowledge, an epiphany of sorts truth bombs come through with the ace of swords right <laughs> kind of sort of like oh i see it now i get it so i feel like there's some information that comes in that provides you like a crap ton of <laughs> clarity wow i am sort of on a roll aren't i aren't i today um yeah a lot of clarity and then in your next highest timeline the wheel moves in your favor divine time has sped up in your next highest timeline um, to bring you in those that abundance that is coming through with the central sun hey work with it it's all working in your favor let's look at the devil here nine of wands four of swords four of wands so this has been a real negative force in your life it has to do with someone that you had the vision of life partnership with could be a twin even but the question now is twin or false twin twin or karmic partner um and you've been kind of pushed with your back against the ropes for quite a while nine of wands it is a card of perseverance and it's a card that usually says don't give up but in reverse energy it's talking to you about exhaustion like you've beaten this horse to death it's time to heal and let this go okay I know I get emotional um, when messages like that come out because it feels to me like um, if I were sitting where you're sitting and I were to hear that and I was to be in that moment of like freaking let it go, there's a part of me that rises up that gets defiant. And it's like, no. And, you know, so I get emotional because I know what it's asking you to do. But I also see that the energy signature of the next six months is telling you, you got to have some fight in you. You cannot... Yes, fight, yes, but fight for something better, not this negative karma. It's a different kind of fight. The one you've been waging, when I say fight, I don't mean like 
fisticuffs. I mean, an energetic spiritual battle. And I feel like the message here for you is release something that isn't serving your highest good. That's just draining the F out of you. Because what you need to do is get the fight back in you for something worthwhile. Something that brings you everything that you desire. And maybe not in the form that you've been expecting. But expectation is the problem, right? So let's look at the Five of Swords. Oh, yeah, this whole no water thing has made me super emotional. Not going to lie. All right, so let me let the garbage truck pass. Yeah, um, well, here you are. Beautiful, beautiful divine feminine, the Empress. And I feel like you've been sort of waiting and persevering and um, to some degree manifesting some measure of sincerity, some message of love or apology, some gesture of kindness, and it's not, it hasn't been there. You've been open to it and waiting to receive it, and it hasn't come. So that's why I'm saying this Five of Swords is coming through saying, you know what? I deserve better. I deserve better. I deserve sincerity. I'm not going to feel defeated by this situation. I release it. I release it with, um, with ease, with grace, with dignity. Because I know that I'm coming from the highest version of myself. And I'm open and receptive to anyone who's willing to be sincere with me. And the Queen of Wands underneath is suggesting, like, yeah, Stella, get your groove back. Exactly what I said when I opened the reading. There is a need for you to be um, a little bit more empowered, more confident. And the Queen of Wands is suggesting that this Five of Swords, and I think it's come through in the past for you. Oops. In the past for you, I want to say it's you, um, that there's been some disempowered energy for you, Aquarius. So the message is you're getting your power back. You're calling your power back. And the strength card is what you have to look forward to, which is the getting up and over it all. So let's look at that. Ace of Swords. Yes growth, change, transformation, taking care of yourself, getting back into the groove of things. I know, I should say, Stella gets her groove back. Maybe I'll title the reading that. Obviously, if you're watching this, you know what the title is. Stella gets her groove back is kind of how it's coming through. I can't help it. I'm a pop culture nerd, but I feel like like there's some information that comes in that says, oh, this doesn't have to be that hard. I'm being shown the way to something transformative. The death card does require you to leave something behind. Something has to die off. And we've already figured out, right? The, 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 the devil with the five of swords, it's been very disempowering. It's been very exhausting. It's had you feeling like, you're not long for this world at times, I'm sure. For some of you, it's been way more painful than I am being shown here. So what I'm saying is you're having this moment of epiphany in the next six months. What's coming toward you is, and I see the light and I deserve better. And I'm in the driver's seat. I can cut this out and leave it behind and know that I'm growing and transforming in beautiful and powerful ways that will serve my highest good. Got it? So I feel like that strength card is the turning point. It sets you on the path to transformation and gives you the opportunity to catch your breath, take care of yourself, put yourself first for a while, and resume the path you were walking just without all the negative karma. So let's look at temperance. Oh, too many cards fell out. A whole chocolate of them, so. Sloppy. There's the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Wands. So this is something you're going to explore. 
And because we're leading with temperance, which has built in patience to it, it's almost patience. What you're exploring is your willingness to trust that in divine time, a, com a conversation will unfold and the topic of it will be, is this something we can work through? Can we work through it? Can we not work through it? Do I even want to give this? Because remember, it's from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I hope if you're enjoying the reading, you'll join us here by subscribing. But when I pull from the bottom of the deck, which you've seen me do, and I do throughout all my readings, it's my way of tapping into unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes. So in this case, it'll be an unconscious awareness that it's like, well, this is something I want to even put my focused attention on. Because the Eight of Pentacles requires us to be focused, to give effort to it. It's a work card. It's task oriented. It's creative solutions to problems focused. So I feel like you're going to kind of lay back a bit and not push so hard and just see what happens. And if a conversation comes through and is meant to come through, it'll come through in divine time. And then it will be in my hands to decide if this is something that I think we can work through or that you even want to. So this is something you'll be exploring in the next six months, but you'll be doing so from a position of strength. Because right now I've, I see disempowered energy and you're getting your groove back. And so when this opportunity arises, you'll be making your choice and decision from a position of strength. So let's see the Ace of Swords, an important lesson you'll learn. <laughs> Can't even make this up, guys. Um, we have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Star. Dreams can come true. Dreams can come true. With the hangman underneath, there's an energy here that I feel like once you see this clearly, it's going to require you to surrender, to surrender just enough to lead with hope, right? Have trust and faith and hope that the universe has your back and will deliver the wish. Got it? I feel like the star is a card of miracles. It, it is a card of healing, but it's more in this particular spot because it's a lesson you're learning is like, bring my true love to me. <laughs> I see that I need to trust the universe. I need to surrender. I need to keep hope alive. Faith, have faith that this wish that I keep making will be granted in divine time. Will you be able to work things out in this toxic environment? That's a decision you'll make in time. But what you're going to learn about is the importance of your trust. You're going to have an epiphany about it. That your true love is out there. And that the wish will be granted. And you're just going to learn how to surrender to that. And to the timing of it. Because a hangman has no expectation around time. The hangman actually benefits from the temporary standstill of it all. As the universe works its magic over here, the hangman is just chill. So that's what I think I see for you. And both, by the way, the star is your card, Aquarius, if you're here as the Aquarian. So the Wheel of Fortune is your next highest timeline. Abundance downloads, yes. Um, beautiful. So <laughs> it will be your time to reverse this instability, right? The five of pentacles talks about, um, things being uncertain, unstable, feeling devalued or a sense of loss here. The five of pentacles also speaks about abandonment issues in relationships and feeling left out in the cold or ghosted in some cases. But what I'm feeling it represents at this time is that there's been an unlevel playing field. And what is being brought to you is the balance, is the restoration of a fair and level playing field. And it brings in the opportunity for a happily ever after. That's the abundance download. You can have it all. You just have to come from strength. 
and stability. So you've got the strength card in the Queen of Pentacles. Get the freaking feet, your feet on the floor and the ground underneath you, especially if you're here as the Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You better have your feet out in the in the grass or to, at the beach or you know buy a grounding mat if you don't have access to getting your feet in the earth pretty darn quickly because i feel like that's the message here is there something coming to you the more you can ground yourself the less you give over your energy and and sort of allow um your center of light your central column of light within you once it starts to get blurry and you give too much of that away it it all kind of falls apart and that's what leads us feeling bereft so i feel like in your next highest timeline jupiter shines brightly upon you you have many abundance downloads here also from your central sun that reset the scales of balance and put you on a path to happiness i could cry I've been on the verge this whole reading. So before I tell you the astrology here, um, I am going to tell you there's a link in the first sentence of the description box below this video that will take you to the extended. So I kind of want to look at you in connection with whoever is bringing, who has brought you into all this instability. Because there is a possibility for communication and you may want to see in this extended whether it's something you can work through. So I'm going to pull the two of you together. We're going to look at strengths, challenges, opportunities. I'm going to look at their message to you. What are they picking up from you energetically? We'll get a message from spirit. Um, that usually comes through as guidance, direction, confirmation, sometimes a warning. Um, we'll look at the hidden energies. What's going on behind the scenes with this person that you don't know, but might be helpful <laughs> to know. And then the outcome position is what might unfold going forward. And I'll close with some Oracle. So that's for the extended. Here's who shows up. The devil is Capricorn. Empress is Venus, uh, which rules Taurus and Libra. Page of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Queen of Wands is Aries. Strength card here is Leo. We've got Scorpio in the death card, more Capricorn in the Queen of Pentacles, Temperance is Sagittarius, the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which is out twice, which rules Sagittarius. Um, the star is your energy here, Aquarius. Our hanged man is Neptune, which just went retrograde in Pisces, and so rules Pisces. We have Justice is Libra. So that's what I have for you. Beautiful, powerful reading. The link to the extended is below. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.